Top of the season to you all. Well, happy New Year. That's what we say. Even though it's like, what is it, January 11th now? But every time you see somebody, you haven't seen them in a while, or you haven't seen them since the year, New Year, they say Happy New Year. And they're trying to be very sure. Let me just have been paying attention to the United States a lot uh, because of, oh, it's fascinating, you know, especially when you're sitting in another, you know, another continent, you know, looking at the states from the outside and through other news media. So, but I guess everybody's the same now because you can check your stuff through, um, you know, through the internet and stuff like that. Anyway, I just want to focus one thing on, on, on uh, Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg has been saying some stuff uh, lately that find kind of that suspect but it's like ah I see what the problem is these days it's what I guess we would call um, uh, ageism or something like that um, here's how it goes fly bother me here's how it goes uh, let me start with with Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby got in trouble, not because of all the sexual stuff, but he, that thing was exposed because after, you know, he got famous in the early 60s. But in all that time, he was get, riding his high horse, telling, you know, not high, he was doing what he was doing to get his career. Then as he got past a certain time, and he was given to charities or whatever have you, then he started basically riding his high horse and trying to tell people who came from his circumstance, take a project or whatever have you, different era, you know, he had a mother and father, so it's sort of different. Anyway, telling them what to do, you know? So here's this, you know, whatever, 60-something-year-old man at the time, or whatever, it was 70, or whatever he was, you know, talking to like two or three generations below him, not understanding what, what their problems were, okay? So that's what really what got him in trouble. Kind of Burris called him out because he was saying, you told me, you know, because of the pound cake speech, you know? So that's what it is. Okay, don't worry about that. Let's shift off. I just want to put that in perspective. Now here you have Whippy Goldberg. He said two things that was kind of suspect to me. Let's, let me just start with the um, with the Kevin Hart situation. You know, with the uh, Oscar. You know, Kevin Kevin Hart was uh, basically uh, uh, trolled by the internet or by forces into the internet that claimed to speak for the um, the, the, the gay community, whatever, the LGBTQ community. That's that's what happened, and they was trying to call him out on on, on stuff he wrote on on Twitter, uh, like whatever nine, ten, whatever eleven years ago, and because of that, uh, and he apologized for it at the time because of the sensitivity, whatever it is, um, and then now they want him to because he's going for a new gig to apologize again. Now I find this just an all-out assault, you know, on somebody, you know, that's what I find. But now you have all these people coming with, oh no, he did this, blah, blah, blah. But the thing really offended me is that Whoopi Goldberg, who hosted the Oscar, you know, by herself, whatever it is, she's saying, oh, well, think, you know, what, he should, what they should do, uh, Kevin should still be in there, but they should have a, you know, she named some Asian person, name a woman, then she couldn't name another, I guess she wants a transgender person, I don't know, uh, uh, to, to be four Oscar hosts. Let's think about that. Let's think about that. Here you have a mega superstar who, who, who has earned his whatever have you. You're going to put him with minor league players? That don't even make no sense. So let me leave that for a second. Let me go to my real bone of contention, which is then she, she says something about uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who, who's the uh, new congresswoman just got um, um, uh, voted in uh, from, a, from a district that spans both the um, uh, Parkchester, I call it the Parkchester, so that's of the Bronx, you know. It, 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 you should go to the Park Chester section. It's very interesting. They have these uh, look like project buildings, but on the outside they got these statues, like communist, you know, workers kind of statues or whatever. Have it. It's a fascinating thing, and I've always been fascinated about that. But they've never been like what we could call like so-called ghetto. We don't. In fact, they had a marshals. I don't know if they still. I haven't been there in a year. Well, it's, Decades. They used to have a Marshalls there. Marshalls is a big time store, but you have these then people go there. It was the only one I knew in New York anyway. And, uh, and they had, um, you know, you can get you can get uh, on their bargain bins, you can get really quality stuff. So it's been a, kind of a strange thing. And when I guess when this guy, um, this, this Cowley guy, got, got first elected 20 or whatever years ago, it was basically a, a, a wall white between the Queens, whatever. It's a small district, whatever. So they had a strategy and they did what they did. You know, uh, it's a great strategy. You know, of course, the demographics has changed. The guy wasn't relating to the community anymore, and that's where politics go. You know, so now she gets in, and you have somebody like Whoopi Goldberg and all these other old people. They doing kind of stupid things. You know, Whoopi says, "Oh no, she needs to sit down and wait her turn, or whatever it is. You know, see how things are done." That's the problem. That's the problem. All these old people, these people that have been, been 20, 30, whatever years in there, they haven't done diddly because they've been waiting to see how, how the cronyism works, how the, you know, quid pro quo works, you see? So when you have somebody come in and say, I'm elected by the people, I don't go by your quid pro quo, they get upset. They get upset. 
In fact, they're so upset. They is all our war against her. Every, you know, the, uh, she gets into Congress um, and she's a part of so-called progressive whatever movement, right? And all the old heads are trying to stop the progressives. You know, from getting, they don't give them any any uh, seats of power, or anything like that. So it's it's, it's, it's like Frederick does. It's, they're going to agitate, agitate, and fight and fight and to get what they want. That's what you're supposed to be as a progressive. You don't listen to these old heads. They haven't done anything. I mean, you know, look. I want to go off just a little bit, off topic just a little bit. We have the congressional, congressional back office. Now, if you know by now, they mostly, um, well, you know, most mostly, whatever, ninety percent. I can't put a percentage on. Represent black districts. Remember, in black districts, everybody knows in black districts that's where you put these, uh, uh, the, these plants that that poison people. These are uh, all things that does bad. Now, the congressional back has hasn't said that has done nothing to mitigate that, to to change that. In all these years, and they continue to go along and go along and go along and go along. In fact, Book Booker said, "Well, you don't, uh, you don't, you don't uh, poop on somebody like John Lewis." Who, what? What? Come on! The only thing I know about John Lewis, he keeps on saying, "I was on the bridge in Selma." I should research him more. I mean, I, I know, I know one thing. You know, uh, Ocasio Cortez. She uh, got elected by, you know, funding that didn't come from corporations. Well, John Lewis seems to have, like, I think he's the second person behind her that doesn't like, really have a lot of corporate sponsorship. So I guess he gets, I don't know what he gets, where he gets his money from. But the real point is, you know, all these, all these, uh, you know, I'm to, I'll go to your saints, your Maxine Waters, whatever, have their districts, you go to them, they, it's, it's, they're terrible. And they keep on being dumped on because whatever um, deals they make, the, the, the Black Caucus or the Black people that represent black people are still pushed down. Here we got Ocasio Cortez who's really making a difference. Making I know what she's making them. You know why? Because she has too many people against her. They, 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 here's the funniest thing. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm going off on this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize ahead of time. There was some fake nude thing, you know how you can do the Photoshop, whatever they call it these days, you know, with the internet, of uh, showing her as a, as a, in a nude or whatever have you. And the real person came and said, no, that's four years ago, that's not her, blah blah blah. Stay straight that up, right? But the funny thing is, in, in, in because she's uh, because she knows how to do social media, whatever have you, she responded to that, even adding that you know these people are so diabolical. That was my words, not her. That they're going after. they they some reporter from some place is going after her boyfriend's people. In other words, they go to her boyfriend and try to give them some money to get dirt on her. You know, you you know these people. Look, this is thing. Who would you rather be as a, as, a, as a military thing? Who would you rather be in the trenches with? This comes from World War I. You know, meaning that, would I rather be in the trenches with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who I don't even know or anything like that, even though she comes from a Bronx, Bronx girl, you know? Or, I'm going, but Whoopi Goldberg. I'm, in this time climate, I'm going, I'm going Alexandria. Simple as that. Because these all these people who have not been in touch with the community, Whoopi has not been in, come on now. Since what? Since the early '80s, she's lived in in, in, a, in a different kind of lifestyle that, that that she grew up with, and then now she's going to tell somebody, "No, I just don't go for it." So anyway, that I I know it went off. I'm sorry. It was the first one for this year, and nah, 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 nah. but happy New Year for me. T from the Patterson taking the chance to bit, letting you know what I only suspect.